This is Leadership Plus. I'm Dave Edwards. Robert Iger's book, The Right of a Lifetime, is easily one of the best books I've read in a long time. Uh, Iger, of course, the former uh, chairman, CEO of the Disney Corporation. Now, I'll be up front. Uh, I am a bit of a, a Disney freak. So, so is everybody in my family. I mean, we started taking my kids to Disney when they were really small. And now, even though they're much, much older with families of their own, they're still taking their kids to Disney. And occasionally they invite grandma and grandpa to come along too. But the benefits of this book, I think, is, is more than just an appreciation of Disney. It's really to understand some of the leadership skills which made uh, Robert Iger very, very successful. Now, Iger took over the Disney company when it was not doing terribly well. So he had an uphill battle to rebuild the luster of the Disney Corporation. And throughout his book, he shares 10 leadership principles that I want to share with you. He says these principles will serve you well as a leader. Optimism, courage, focus, decisiveness, curiosity, fairness, thoughtfulness, authenticity, the relentless pursuit of perfection, and integrity. Then throughout the book, he illustrates each of those points with some of the activities that he engaged in while running Disney. He talks about, for example, uh, his relationship with Steve Jobs. And as you think about the work that you do, you might want to consider this quote from Robert Iger. He writes, a delicate balance is required between management being responsible for the financial performance of any creative work and in exercising that responsibility being careful not to encroach on the creative processes in harmful and counterproductive ways. Empathy is a prerequisite to the sound management of creativity and respect is critical. You know, managing in that kind of a creative environment while still keeping a, a board of directors happy is probably not very easy to do, but he, he gives us some examples. In the book, Iger talks about the long list of things that faced him when he became the CEO of Disney and how he had to prioritize those items. And isn't that a problem for all of us? We're all faced with probably too much that we can do all at once and we have to decide what's most important to take on first, second, and third. He writes, a company's culture is shaped by a lot of things, but this is one of the most important. You have to convey your priorities clearly and repeatedly. In my experience, it's what separates great managers from the rest. If leaders don't articulate their priorities clearly, then the people around them don't know what their priorities should be. So that begs the question, have you articulated your priorities lately? That's Leadership Plus. I'm Dave Edwards. Click the like button, please. Subscribe and you'll get more of these videos. And uh, don't forget, if you'd like to read more management and leadership articles, please visit my website at daveedwardsmedia.com.